Well, a poison book in this context is um, what we refer to um, as a book that has potentially arsenic in the binding. Um, and we identify those um, by looking at this green color um, in the binding, which can vary from light to dark. We use uh, the Winterthur Project's uh, University of Delaware bookmark to identify those colors. You can see that there's a whole um, range of greens here. Some of them are true to their original color. Some of them may have changed over the years. But you can use the bookmark to match um, books and see if they are close to the color. And it just means that they're potentially um, an arsenic book. So it starts to collect the spectrum. And I will load the arsenic. And yeah, it's arsenic. We did a map analysis. So we got an XRF spectrum of the map of the area of the book with the embossed area. And we can see that it's gold print and that there's arsenic all in the green area. These um, poisonous books are not necessarily dangerous. Um, just like any um, uh, object out in the world, some of them have chemicals in them that you would want to just be careful about. The significance of keeping these books together um, is that it's really important to preserve their historical physicality. So we study both um, the content of books but also the materiality of books. And it is really important that their original covers be intact and all of the information that those covers give us and what's inside the covers, sometimes signatures or book plates, uh, remain intact so that academically we can study these books in context and learn more about society through these books.